Hello, little explorer. Did you go on an adventure today? Did you explore anything new? Being a little explorer means we're always learning and exploring the world around us, and sometimes even out of this world. Tonight, we are going somewhere special. Before you go to sleep, we're going to go beyond our planet on a magical journey into space. Are you ready? First, we have to prepare for our journey by slowing down our breath. One fun way to use your breath to help you calm down is to breathe into a different part of your body and feel it relax. Would you like to try it with me, little explorer? Here we go. Breathe in and breathe into your toes. Feel your toes as you take a big breath in and then let it out. Feel your toes go all soft and relaxed. Now, breathe into your legs into your legs and then breathe out and feel your legs go soft. Now, let's breathe into your belly. Into your belly and when you breathe out, feel your tummy go all soft. Great job. We're nearly there. Now let's breathe into your face and breathe out and feel your cheeks, your nose, even your ears go all soft. Wow, well done. Now that you are calm and relaxed, little explorer, let's go exploring. Exploring into space. Ready? All great explorers have a backpack. And in your backpack, you have a special jetpack that can blast you up, up into space. All you need to do is to put on your backpack and space helmet and then take in a big breath. Ready? Here we go. Breathe in. Whoosh. we go. Up over your house, up over your town or city, above your country, above the whole of planet Earth. Up and up through the clouds and into the twinkly stars and planets in the night sky. Whoosh! Oh, look! We're here! How amazing does it feel to be floating up here in space? Now, Guess where we are going to explore tonight, little explorer? We're going to one of the planets in our solar system. And this one is very special because it has rings around it. Do you know which planet it is? 
Yes, it's Saturn. I wonder what those rings are made of. Do you think they're made of silver or gold, like the rings we wear on our fingers? Shall we go on a mission to find out? Let's fire up our jetpacks and whoosh through the stars to find out. Whoosh! Up, up we go. Past Mars and Jupiter all the way to Saturn. And here we are. Oh, look! There are the rings. Aren't they beautiful? And there's a lot of them. One, two, three. Wow! And now that we're up really close, I can see there are even more. And look, the rings are actually made up of tiny bits of ice and rock. And look at that. Each ring is circling round and around the planet. And they all seem to be travelling at different speeds. Wow! How beautiful! So, we solved our mystery, little explorer. Saturn's rings aren't made of gold or silver, like the rings we wear on our fingers. They are actually rings of tiny bits of ice and rock that circle the planet. Now that we've solved that mystery, shall we fly back home? Back to bed for a long sleep? Ready? As you fly back, Take a moment to think about all the things you are thankful for in your home, your community, and your planet. Maybe you're thankful for your nice, soft bed tonight, your fluffy pillow, your favourite toys around you, the warmth of your blanket. As you float back down into bed, fill your mind with all the things that make you happy, especially the people you love and who love you back. Landing softly back in your bed, ready for a great night's sleep. Waking up in the morning, feeling healthy and happy and ready to explore the world again tomorrow. Good night, little one.